Over the next two videos we're going to go back to um, integration by substitution and we're going to ramp it up a little bit and we've got here something just to warm us up. This one's possibly a bit harder than some of the ones we've been looking at but uh, it's not going to be the most difficult one out of the four that we're going to go through in these uh, two videos. Okay so we're going to make a u substitution here so we're going to let u equal the inner function we can see there, so that's 1 minus x squared. So using the uh, method of substitution that we're familiar with already, we would get then for du dx at negative 2. We could say that uh, du equals 2x or negative 2x dx. But if we take a close look, we have, what do we want this to align to? We have existing there dx, we have not negative 2x dx, we have x over 8 or 1 8th, positive 1 8th dx. So in order to get that, we need negative 1 16th du equals x over 8 dx. So we can write in the negative 1 16th out here we can write the du over here and then we've got the substitution involving u it's got a square root over it so it's u to the half if you want to write it in index form so we have the uh, integral there with regards to u so <clears throat> let's execute that part now we've got u to the 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 plus c. Okay, dividing by 3 over 2 is multiplying by 2 thirds, so we have negative 2 over 48 and we have uh, back in radical form we've got and substituting back in in terms of x as well, we have one. We well have u cubed, then take the square root. So take the square root of u cubed. I guess I should write that in just so I don't lose anybody. And plus c. Simplifying and subbing back in in terms of x now we have 1 minus x squared and that's all cubed and plus c so let's do a second example this is the final one for this video coming up there'll be two more in the next video now this one is somewhat uh, more complex we, we're going to use the change of variable by substitution method like we did um, previously, but this one's got a bit more to it. Um, we're also going to look back at some of our um, techniques involved in integration from earlier in this topic. So with this integral here, we can, if we want to, if we find it useful, we can split that numerator up. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, so if the numerator is a sum, we do have the option of splitting it up into its terms. <coughs> like so. The 4x and the 5 are separated. Like that. Now these two can be integrated separately and that's what we want to do because each of them is a different style based on the techniques we've been learning. So what I've done too on the second term is take the 5 out the front and in a moment we'll see why that is. So we're going to integrate this first term. So I'm going to write in light green because it's going to involve some substitution. We're going to let u equal 25 minus 16x squared.
So du dx is negative 32x, so du is negative 32x dx. Let's have a look over here at what we've actually got. We don't have negative 32x dx, we have positive 4x dx. So let's adjust that there. How do we get what we want? So you might want to just write down, this is what we want. What do we have to do? Well, we have to divide by negative 8. So negative 1 8 or du over negative 8, something like that. Negative 1 8, 1 8 of du. Okay, so now we can go back in and sub that. Okay, and we get negative 1 8 times u to the negative a half <coughs> du. And now for the second part here. Now, what do we have? We don't have the same scenario here. So I'm going to write in orange here for this part. We have um, this pattern here, or at least we could um, get this pattern here, and we know that that equals inverse sine x on a from our previous work. All right, so let's have a close look now. We might need to make a substitution because it has to strictly follow this form here. The numerator is fine. Um, we can identify a squared there fine with the 25. That's no worries. It's it's this negative, it's minus 16x squared versus x squared is what we've got to look at. So we need to look at another substitution. I'm going to use a different symbol. So if w squared is 16x squared, we're going to use w as the substitution variable temporarily here. w would be 4x and dw dx <coughs> is 4 Another way of saying that, a quarter dw equals dx. Alright. So, so let's put all that back into the main question. So, we've got dx needs to be replaced by a quarter dw down the bottom there. And we've got a 5 sitting out the front, so we'll actually have 5 quarters there. Okay, so... And uh, subbing in, well, with a squared, so we've got 5 squared, in fact. So this rule needs to be followed strictly. And we've got w squared now instead of 16x squared. And we can just write in the dw because we've taken care of that quarter already. All right. Interesting. We've got two different variables, two different integration questions together. Um, but a lot of the hard stuff's been done already. So let's go ahead and integrate that. So if we integrate the first one, we get negative a quarter u to the half. <coughs> and the second term will be five quarters. And that follows the pattern now where it's inverse sine or arc sine w on 5 plus c. Alright, so we're nearly there. I'm going to write the positive term first and we're going to sub back in in terms of x. So 5 quarters arc sine Now W, remember if we go back over here, W was 4X, so that's 4X on 5. Plus C, oh wait, no, 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 I've got the U term, plus C comes up in a minute, jump on the gun. It's actually a minus in fact, so um, minus a quarter all right, and we've got sub back in from u, so we've got minus a quarter, 25, take 16x squared, plus c. Okay, the next video will show a couple more.